In the movie Interstellar, the main character Cooper escapes from a black hole in time to see his daughter Murph in her final days. Some have argued that the movie is so scientific that it should be taught in schools. In reality, many scientists believe that anything sent into a black hole would probably be destroyed, but a new study suggests that this might not be the case after all. When it comes to our understanding of the universe, the 20th century was full of surprises. A little over 100 years ago, we thought the Milky Way galaxy was home to everything we could see in the sky. We thought the universe was static, unchanging, and possibly eternal, governed by Newton's law of universal gravitation. Well, all of that changed dramatically in the span of a few short years. Einstein's general relativity replaced Newton's theory of gravity, explaining the connection between matter, energy, and the structure of space-time. According to his equations, the universe couldn't be static but had to change over time, a concept confirmed by the discovery of the expanding universe. His theory also predicted the existence of black holes, which were later observed, detected, and even directly imaged. All of these discoveries presented a wild and speculative idea. What if our universe originated from a black hole? Could it be possible that our universe was born from a black hole that formed in a large, apparent universe? And is it possible that new universes are born every time a new black hole is created? Let's find out, shall we? The Big Bang. Some scientists propose that before the existence of humans, Earth, the ignition of the sun, or the emergence of galaxies, and even before there was light, there was an event known as the Big Bang. This event took place approximately 13.8 billion years ago. But what about what came before that? According to many physicists, there may not have been a before in the traditional sense. They argue that time itself began with the Big Bang, and thinking about anything earlier isn't part of scientific inquiry. Understanding what the reality was like before the Big Bang, what it consisted of, or why it led to the creation of our universe is likely beyond our grasp and human comprehension. However, a few unconventional scientists have a different perspective. They suggest that just before the Big Bang, all the mass and energy of the early universe were compressed into an incredibly dense but finite point. Let's call this point the seed of a new universe. This seed is believed to have been incredibly tiny, possibly trillions of times smaller than any particle we've ever observed. Surprisingly, this tiny particle could trigger the creation of every other particle, along with galaxies, solar systems, planets, and even living beings. Some have even likened it to what people call the Higgs boson. So, how did this seed come into existence? One idea discussed for several years, particularly by Nico Dimpallison from the University of New Haven, is that the seed of our universe was formed in the most extreme environment in nature, inside a black hole. The idea is that the seed of a universe is like the seed of a plant, a core of essential material densely packed within a protective shell. This closely resembles what's formed inside a black hole. Black holes. Black holes are the remnants of massive stars. When such a star exhausts its fuel, its core collapses and gravity becomes incredibly powerful, creating temperatures of up to 100 billion degrees. Atoms break apart and electrons are torn into smaller pieces. By this stage, the star has become a black hole with such strong gravity that not even light can escape. Enormous black holes, some millions of times more massive than the sun, have been found at the center of many galaxies, including our Milky Way. If we apply Einstein's theories to understand what's at the very center of a black hole, we arrive at a point that's infinitely dense and infinitesimally small. This hypothetical concept is known as a singularity. However, infinities are not typically seen in the natural world. The issue arises from Einstein's theories, which work well for most of the universe but struggle with extreme forces like those inside a black hole or during the universe's birth. Physicists like Dr. Pallison propose that the matter inside a black hole reaches a limit where it can't be compressed any further. This seed may be incredibly tiny, with the mass of billions of suns, but unlike a singularity, it is real. Over 40 years ago, Stephen Hawking surprised the scientific community by revealing that black holes aren't completely black, as previously thought. According to classical physics, once something enters a black hole, it should never come out. However, Hawking demonstrated that when we consider quantum effects, black holes actually emit radiation over time. The challenge is that for most black holes in space, this radiation is too faint to detect with our current technology. 
Hawking's calculations present a puzzle. As black holes emit radiation, they lose mass and eventually evaporate. This leads to a paradox, as it suggests that the information about what fell into the black hole is lost forever. In the world of quantum mechanics, this goes against a fundamental principle. That information cannot be created or destroyed. Another way to look at this is that Hawking radiation poses a problem with determinism. For black holes, determinism implies that the state of the universe at any given time is uniquely determined from its state at any other time. This is how we can trace its evolution, both astronomically and mathematically. This means that the loss of information within black hole physics involves the challenge of reconciling determinism emerging from the integration of quantum mechanics and Einstein's theory of gravity. This formidable task serves as the ultimate objective for numerous physicists. Black hole physics serves as a litmus test for any prospective quantum gravity theory, demanding an explanation for the fate of information recording a black hole's history. The resolution to this enigma emerged after two decades of scientific inquiry. Scientists posited that information within a black hole correlates with its two-dimensional surface area rather than its three-dimensional volume, a concept elucidated by quantum gravity proposing the reconstruction of three-dimensional space from a two-dimensional world without gravity, akin to a hologram. String theory, a prominent contender in quantum gravity, also exhibits holographic properties. Through holography, the evaporation of a black hole can be described in a two-dimensional world governed by the conventional rules of quantum mechanics. This deterministic process features minor imperfections in the radiation encoding the black hole's history. Thus, holography asserts that information is not lost within black holes. Yet, pinpointing the flaw in Hawking's initial arguments remains a formidable challenge. A defining characteristic of black holes is the presence of an event horizon a boundary that delineates distinct experiences for objects outside versus inside it. Beyond the event horizon, an object can still escape the gravitational effects by moving swiftly or accelerating appropriately. However, once an object crosses the event horizon, it becomes inexorably drawn toward the black hole's center. Inside the black hole, intense spacetime curvature propels the object toward the singularity within a brief span after crossing the event horizon augmenting the black hole's mass in the process. The universe, with its myriad forms of matter and radiation, prompts a consideration of its equivalent mass. Using Einstein's iconic equation, backslash, E equals mc caret 2 backslash, accounting for normal matter, neutrinos, dark matter, photons, and gravitational waves, the observable universe's mass is determined. The notion of the entire universe being condensed into a single point leads to the concept of a black hole. Remarkably, in the absence of electric charge and angular momentum, a black hole size, known as the Schwarzschild radius, is solely dictated by its total mass. Intriguingly, the Schwarzschild radius of a black hole, encompassing the mass of the observable universe, closely aligns with the size of the visible universe, prompting speculation about the universe existing within a black hole. Delving further into the narrative, a groundbreaking discovery in the mid-1960s unveiled a constant, uniform, low-energy radiation known as the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, emanating from every direction in the sky. This radiation, initially termed the primeval fireball, provided crucial evidence for the expanding and cooling nature of our universe. The CMB, with its consistent temperature and spectrum, aligns with the concept of a hot Big Bang where the universe, when traced backward, approaches conditions akin to a singularity, reminiscent of the extreme conditions within black holes, where conventional physics breaks down. The exploration of how black holes work reveals something fascinating. Picture yourself just outside a black hole's boundary, known as the event horizon. As you move away from the black hole, your distance from it, represented as backslash or backslash, goes from a certain point called the Schwarzschild radius to infinity. Conversely, if you're inside the event horizon, your value changes from the Schwarzschild radius to zero. This distinction is significant because the characteristics of space outside the event horizon, from backslash or backslash to infinity, are mathematically identical to those inside it, from backslash or backslash to zero. In essence, the inside and outside of a black hole behave similarly, making them indistinguishable. Imagine black holes as mysterious rooms with special boundaries. If you're just outside the room, moving away increases your distance from a specific point to infinity, 
similar to the Schwarzschild radius. Conversely, if you're inside, measuring your distance to the center decreases from that point to zero. The remarkable aspect is that when you compare what happens inside the room from the special point to zero with what happens outside from the special point to infinity, they are the same at every spot. The inside and outside of the room, like a black hole, are mathematically indistinguishable. Over the past few decades, our understanding of the universe has evolved, with two significant discoveries reshaping cosmology. First is cosmic inflation, suggesting the universe's origin wasn't a singularity but began with rapid, continuous expansion before the hot Big Bang phase. The second discovery is dark energy, causing distant galaxies to accelerate away as the universe expands. Speculation arises about a possible connection between black holes, changes in the event horizon size, and the energy inherent in space driving cosmic inflation and dark energy. Questions emerge. Could black holes, through mass gain and hawking radiation, influence the energy woven into space? Might the birth of our universe be linked to an extremely massive black hole? Could each astrophysical black hole in our universe give rise to a new universe? Despite intriguing possibilities, existing physical models lack conclusive answers, failing to meet critical criteria and making these ideas speculative hypotheses. The challenge for theoretical physicists is finding evidence in our observable universe to confirm or reject these concepts. Making a link between black holes and the birth of universes is a fascinating but unproven possibility.